Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS. It lets us install packages through the command line by running brew install and then the package name. All we have to do to install Homebrew is copy and paste this command into the terminal. Your output might look slightly different than mine, and that's only because I have Homebrew already installed. After installing Homebrew, run Brew Update. Homebrew has a number of useful commands. Let's go through some of those. Brew, search, and then the package name will return all the packages that match this criteria. For example, if we search for the PHP package, it will find us the latest one, as well as some specific versions, such as 7.2 and 7.3. Running brew info on the package will give us information about the package, such as the version, any dependencies, as well as some analytical information. Then we have the standard brew install and then the package, which will install our package, and then brew uninstall, which will uninstall our package. The packages that we're interested in today's video is PHP, MySQL, Elasticsearch, and MailHog. If I check the current version of PHP, my current version is PHP 7.1. If we head over to the system requirements at devdocsmagento.com, the version of PHP we need is PHP 7.4. We can get this version by running brew install PHP. If we check our current version of PHP now, it's still set to 7.1. All we have to do is open up a new tab and we'll see the new version. Next, we're going to install MySQL. We can do so by running brew install MySQL. The version we need is MySQL 8. Now we're going to launch the service at system start. This saves us from manually starting MySQL every time we boot up our computer. Let's check the version. There we go. Next, we're going to install Elasticsearch. The supported version for Elasticsearch is 7.6. If we run brew install Elasticsearch, it will install 7.8, but this is fine. It should work just as well. We're gonna launch the service again. And now we're going to test that Elasticsearch is working. All we have to do is copy and paste this text into the terminal Update the host to localhost and press enter. And finally, we're going to install MailHog. Let's launch the service again. What is MailHog? MailHog is not a requirement, but it's a nice to have. When Magento sends out emails, MailHog will capture them. You can view all the incoming emails at this domain name. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.